You think that what bothers you the most about ports of old games is that they want you to rebuy the same games on each new console that comes out. I'd rather just stick with my computer for emulating games that I don't have the physical copies of. Yeah, um, a lot of emulation has like lag though. And some of the companies that port this stuff do really do like really really good jobs porting it. So the question kind of comes down to quality, I would say. But I mean, you're not you're not wrong there in probably a lot of instances. Pro probably doing that is is enough for many people. You get the quality aspect, but you feel like it's a cheap money grab if you bought the game multiple times on each of Nintendo's consoles. Well, I mean, that's your choice too, though. If, you, if you've already bought the game several times, it's your choice whether or not you want to buy it a, a second or a third time because the quality might be different or something like that. Um, so you can just not buy it. Like if you've already, let's say you bought it on Wii U or something like that, just play it on Wii U if you don't want the new version, you know? That's kind of on you. Because you don't have to buy it. They're just releasing a different version because maybe be like, oh, well this version has this aspect or this version has this, you know? It's for people that want it. Yeah, oh wait, he's saying you should be able to carry that purchased license over. Um, yeah, but yeah, if they're adding new things, though, the, here's the thing about that. So if they're adding, let's say it's like Gr Gradius or something, and you bought it on like Wii U, let's say, but then they release it on the Switch, you know, eight years later or something like that, if it's the same exact fucking game, then I probably agree with you. But if they do th shit different to it, like if there's like a team of people that had to work on the new version, um, and it's, you know what? It's also, simply porting a game to a system costs money. Like, you, like you can't just like be like, oh, I'm gonna take it from the NES and throw it on the, you know, or I'm gonna take it from Saturn and throw it on the Switch. Like, some somebody has to make it work. So somebody has to get paid to do that. So it's kind of like. You can't, like, just because you spent $10 on a game in 2004 doesn't mean in 2020 that it, it's it's kind of like, you know, somebody new got paid to do that. They need to get, like, paid to do that. I get what you're saying, though. But especially on top of it, if, if they've added new features. Uh, like, an example is that's a ver new version of an old game. Uh, so M2 did Ketsui Destiny, which is a new version of an older game from like 2002, I think, uh, Ketsui, some, somewhere around there, early 2000s, I think. So they added a new mode to the old game. So it's like somebody had to make that part of it. So it's kind of like, you know. Anyway, it's a good, it's a good discussion though. Mike is right about that port. An actual port requires work, yeah. But I mean, I, I know I know what you're saying though. It's like if if you like how many uh, on the other side of it, it's like how many times can you buy the same game over and over? It's like if I bought Gradius on uh, Virtual Console for Wii or something, then do I gotta buy it again on Wii U? Then I then I gotta buy it again on Switch, or then I gotta or I know what they do on the Nintendo Switch. They have a they have this service that you're paying whatever the monthly service is for the Nintendo Switch like online thing. You pay for that and then you get all this stuff free and maybe that's included in that. But then you're you are you are kind of paying for the game still though because you're paying for the service. The only reason you buy the service is to play the games. So it's kind of like you know Or just keep playing your older PlayStations. Well, so as far and then with the older systems, it's like your old system might break, or as time goes on. Let's say that you got your PlayStation in 1999, but now you want to play um, a game that you don't have. Well, you're gonna buy the game. 
you could go be like, oh, well, I'll buy the game off of eBay or at a convention or something like that. And then you'd be like, oh, the game is $150 because it's really rare now. Or would you rather have it get released on the Nintendo Switch and it costs, you know, $7 or something like that? So it's like, it, it depends, you know? Well, there's a lot of factors. You'd rather have the old one? Well, I mean, I'd rather have the old one, too. But what if the old game is Genga Fukai Densetsu Sapphire? Do you want to pay the $1,000? Or do you want to, like, have it be released on the Nintendo Switch for, like, $5 or something like that? It's like, most people are not going to spend a lot of money, you know, to buy a game like that. So, you, you just asked to borrow mine? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Rebuy Super Mario Brothers until you die in debt and bankruptcy, and that debt is passed on to your next again. Yeah, now that, now that one though, Super Mario Brothers is like that one. I think is fucking bullshit. Like like Mario and Zelda. Um, so, like some games, you know. Like I feel like the Ketsui one could be worth it because it's like they added new modes and they they made it work nice and all that that's one where i feel like that that one's fine but like super mario brothers if you bought that fucking game on the wii then yeah i think it should i think that that should carry over to the switch now though the only thing like i just said it does cost money to be able to have somebody port it onto the Switch. They don't just magically throw it on there. But I mean when you like when you buy Super Mario Brothers on the Wii, I feel like for that there should be like a lifetime thing for that. So it's like if you buy this game right now on the Nintendo Wii on all our future consoles, you will get regular ass Super Mario Brothers. But if they change something about it, then I think then you have to buy it again. Like if they make like um, a new mode, like they have that new thing now that's, uh, what is that, Mario 35th or something like that? Like that's Mario, but it's like a whole new game. Like that you gotta pay for, cause they had to like make that. Little Samson on Switch would be nice. They, exactly, they should put that on there. A very expensive game and like, there's no reason like, they, like they, I feel like they should be focusing on games like that. And there, also, there's another one that's called um, uh, like Euphoria, right? Isn't that there that game? And that game's really good. I, I mean, I don't think that's on there, right? But any of those games that are really expensive but also good, they sh I feel like they should be focusing on getting those games on there before they put out like the Immortal. If you turn on your Switch, Nintendo Switch right now and you go to the NES store, there's the fucking the Immortal is on there. The order in which they're putting these games out is fucking stupid. Bucky O'Hare, I don't know if you can get cheap, but it should be on Switch. And and a lot of those games, you're not going to get like a lot of those fucking great games like Batman, Ninja Turtles, Bucky O'Hare. I think that there should be two tiers to the fucking thing. There should be tier one, you pay however much it is, and then if you buy the more expensive tier two, which is maybe a dollar or two more or something like that, then you can get like licensed games. And then they use that little bit of extra money to license out games like, you get like the, it would be like two different packages. It's like, do you want like the, the shitty package or the good package, basically. And the good package has like all the games, including the licensed one, but they don't d decide to do that either. Cause God forbid they go through the work to like contact the fucking companies. Hey, hey, uh, whoever owns the fuck that now. Hey DC, we're gonna cut you uh, this much so we can put Batman on the NES. And then, and then DC gets paid, but they're not doing any of that and they should be doing that.